Hi, my name is Thomas Podkinski and I'm Design Director here at Finisterre and today I'm going to be telling you, you about Beaumont or British Beaumont to be more precise. British Beaumont is a rather unique and very special sheep here in the UK. Now Beaumont was a sheep that was developed by the Macaulay Land Institute up in Scotland. Now the Institute was sort of like set up to help farmers make more money from the land that they had up there. Um, the reason for them developing the sheep was to create a fine fibre sheep that would allow farmers to um, sell their wool at a far more premium price and therefore make more out of the sheep that they had. It took them around 20 to 25 years to um, breed and stabilise the Beaumont sheep. Um, and they did this through cross-breeding Saxon Merino, the finest fibre sheep in the world and the Shetland which is a um, very fine UK breed. Uh, even when they had developed this incredible sheep with this incredible fibre, because there was no um, supply chain within the UK to do anything with the wool, um, the project was effectively put on hold. Um, I say put on hold, it was pretty much disbanded and all the sheep were sold off or either slaughtered. Um, which seemed a huge shame, especially when you consider that the sheep was almost perfect for what we were looking for and what so much of the industry is looking for. Um, it was then a job of tracking down where the last remaining Beaumonts had been sent off to. They had been sent to another number of farms throughout the UK, um, but unfortunately most of them had either again been slaughtered or had been crossbred with other UK sheep and therefore losing their fibre quality. Fortunately, however, the sheep did have one bastion, and that was a lady called Leslie Pryor, who owns um, the Devon Goat Company. Now, she, and I'm sure she won't mind me saying this, is an absolute fibre psycho in the sense that she obsesses about the quality of fibre, as well as the animal welfare. And through her breeding of cashmeres, she was well aware of what the sheep represented, especially within the UK. She picked up the last remaining few and um, has been tending to them ever since. When we found Leslie about two years ago, there was 30 odd sheep, um, purebred Beaumonts, making the sheep probably one of the, the rarest sheep in the world and endangered, well, critically endangered when you look at the numbers. Now, it probably wasn't endangered when you take into consideration the, um, the love that was being lavished on them by Leslie. Um, Effectively, what we went to and said to Leslie was this is a project that we would really like to be involved in and that we would support where we could as well as guarantee um, purchasing all the wool from her. Um, with regards to the future Bromont, um, it does look promising. Uh, we are fully involved with every aspect now. Um, we like to get our hands dirty, especially with the, the shearing and the lambing, two particular highlights of the year. Um, during the summer, there'll be plenty of artificial insemination, something I think that we won't be getting too much hands on, although I'm sure none, some of us won't mind if the opportunity arises. Um, the fibre we do have is being processed now in the UK and it won't be long before it finds itself into some of our products for you to be able to buy.